It's semifinal time at the Women's World Cup, Robbo. It wasn't always pretty, but England overcame Colombia and arguably the most exciting player in the tournament, Linda Caicedo, while hosts Australia outlasted France on penalties. How do you see this going? Uh... If you're talking about who's the better team, I think that England are, are, are a better team. But they have going to have to play better than they have done in the games that I've seen so far. That, yeah, they were that, poor against Nigeria, very yeah. poor against Nigeria. Uh, and against Colombia, mistakes. Uh, mistakes, them. yeah. I mean, the goalkeeper, the, the mistake the goal, Colombian goalkeeper made for the first goal was horrendous. I mean, she only has to dive on the ball, but she lets it go and, and England get back into the game. And then there was a defensive mistake for the second goal where the defender tried to intercept it, made a mistake and it goes through and they score. So England are going to have to improve. Sam Kerr could be back for Australia, which gives them a, a, an extra boost because she's obviously a top class player. She came on as a sub in, in the last game. Um, but overall, it's going to be a great game, great atmosphere. Yeah. Still think England will get through to the final. I, with you, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave and wait for Jules to come back. The mm. postmortem on France, but I thought that was a horrendous performance from France. Horrendous mm. coaching performance yep. uh, with those players. I thought they should have done better mm. against Australia. But all credit to Australia. Now Spain face a Sweden in the other semi final on Tuesday. Gab, Spain favourites or not? They have to be favourites. I think they're probably mm. the most skillful team mm -hmm. left in the tournament by some margin and it's pretty remarkable when you're looking at what happened with the Spain team all those players mm -hmm. you know pulling out the dispute with the manager and stuff just replaces them with other players mm -hmm. I think Spain will always be vulnerable because of the way they play we yeah. saw that against a not great Holland team uh, mm -hmm. you know physically other teams can get to them um, and when you base yourself on technique you risk making mm -hmm. mistakes uh, that is the main threat against Sweden. That's why I think it's going to be very close. Sweden, of course, an outstanding goalkeeper uh, as well, as, as we've seen mm -hmm. uh, uh, throughout uh, this tournament. Um, but uh, Sweden, of course, beating beating Japan, you know, was the team I was supposed game, to Game of two halves, that one, because in the first half, Japan defended with a five and then four in midfield and one up front allowed Sweden to run the game. And it all changed in the second half. Then he got back into it, Japan. I, I don't know what it is with Japan national team mm. managers making weirdo decisions mm. in World Cup, both men's and women's. But yeah. I'm just going to leave it at that one. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content, 